Hello YouTube back again with another video this time I'm gonna be doing a rant one thing I noticed not a lot of people are, are addressing are notorious Rashid um, pronounce that correctly notorious Rashid or whatever well he, he isn't the nicest guy which he claims to be because he's really creepy obviously um, but this guy is just off the roof he's going off the rail because <clears throat> Essentially, I'm sure you guys are aware if you look through his videos, it's him being an incel, like him blaming women for rejecting him. But this, 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 I want to get this uh, across my mind. I want to get my point across. But um, it's very irritating that guys think that they are obligated, not just men in general, people believe that they're obligated to someone or something because they feel that it matters to them because of how what it means to them because of how special it is because just because they believe something is special to them that they deserve it that they don't want to work for it and earn it and i want to i want to get to really disturbing part look what he says notice this grape that you see here uh, you already get the gist of it so He's implying women, this, this is what should happen to women for rejecting nice guys like him. You know, he should refer to himself as, I think, to make it easier rather than notorious or shit, he should refer to himself as to the nice guy career predator. But the one thing I'm, 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 I really don't understand is what makes it so confusing is why people like him don't want to work for it. They don't want to earn women's trust. They don't want to try to improve their personality. They don't try to find a hobby besides chasing women. As you see here, the comments are very disturbing. Um, he did get his um, TikTok removed. He was banned, but I'm sure he uh, remade a new one. Um, but if you know this guy in person, I would, it would be best not to try and reason with him. Because I don't think you can... Um, try to help someone like this guy at all to be real with you and stupid ass is, is getting across the way of my video because i'm here to make a discussion right now it's interrupting my discussion now i can continue so but he's his videos it's crazy he went viral like literally just ranting venting about women this entire time like how is that even amusing that's just crazy and he's just literally obsessed and just can't get over the fact that there were women out there that will cho not choose nice guys like you or they won't choose obviously they won't prefer not to be around creeps like you and again looking at these videos um already tells you type persons because i can tell the difference between someone trolling and someone actually um being serious because he, he even, I think from, I can, I can assure you guys, um, in one of his videos, he says he's, he's not going to apologize for the, the past videos he's made, like, that were negative towards women, like, insulting, threatening women, um, um, even his mother, um, I'm not even really show the video of his mother, you guys will eventually find it out, like, when you search on the, his, his name under the browser, and she talks about, like, how, his actions which is very true though his actions also affecting the livelihoods of his family including his mother because if you bring drama when you anything you do online you can bring drama to your family as well and, and they can be caught in the crossfire so she's telling him like you need to go get therapy you need to go get help um you're gonna have to move out she, good thing she kicked him out she definitely did the right thing by doing so and um and it's unfortunate like when you when you when your own family decides they don't want you that that there is basically gonna shatter your entire life and what i mean you need your family imagine without your family you you'd be very lonely you 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 feel like you have nothing to lose you'll have a mental breakdown um and they are important his now, of course, his mother. I honestly don't. Again, I don't blame his mother. Even I don't. I don't believe you should dress on in the internet because I don't think people are gonna help you. But I get it because now I kind of think. Well, 
I was kind of taking some time to think about it, like, as to why she would make that video. But it's to let people know that, like, she isn't just, as, she isn't as bad as he is, that she is aware. She's not going to try to make excuses. She's not going to minimize his actions, that he needs to be, he's a grown man, he needs to be held full accountable, and that she's not responsible. And she's absolutely right. But again, one thing I will I will not agree is addressing it on social media, because the people what are the people going to do for you? To be honest, and like you said, there's more videos out there. I never see like here is his TikTok. I never seen one video where he talks about like outside of women rejecting him. So, but um. I'm not going to really give him advice, but for anyone with this mentality, I personally think they can't be helped. That's just my honest opinion, though. Um, guys, this good man has also proven that he, he can't be helped, he can't be saved, and that he tries to catfish women. And then, but he he tries to pull the reverse Uno card and say that when women catfished, they don't be criticized by the, for their looks, but it only applies to men. So, catfishing is just simply outright weird. That's why I say, if you're going to date someone, why not try to meet them in person first? I don't, that's why I don't believe in online dating. I always believe it's, it makes, it's more rational, it's more easier, convenient if you talk to the women in your local area. Because they're part of your community, it's very convenient, very easy. And you just got to learn to have a be mature, you just got to learn to have like, a legit personality you just gotta learn to be able to interact with the women in your personal life and then you have a better chance in my opinion that's how that's how it is in the real world but again uh this is to show you guys this tiktok um but i would suggest not to pursue him because like uh, if, if again if he lives near your area but like your best bet is to probably, if you see him working somewhere, report him, let people, the workplace know who the type of person he is and what he's been doing on social media. Because th there, th it needs to be addressed rather than uh, be um, escalated. But whether I see any improvements with this guy, I, I definitely don't see it because I, I would normally would not suggest this to, to any creep out there. Maybe if you try working out, maybe if you try getting an education, maybe try to learn uh, what, win, what women want to see in a man. Because unfortunately, it, it is not fair in life. Because usually the women these days prefer men that have a lot of money as well as they're very attractive. Regardless whether you're fat or skinny. But again, I feel like I need to address this. Because this, this situation... Um will unfold if no one has if the law enforcement has not approached him yet um because he has been hinting and he there's i'm not going to show you the text he's even literally texted another woman that he was going to kill her he was actually going to make her deceased if he didn't follow if she didn't follow with his advances i'm like are you kidding me bro what's wrong with you I mean, there are better ways you can approach this situation. Like, you can't make a relationship uh, like important part of your life. That's that should not be the goal of your future. Like, that's not something you should plan ahead. You should be planning about how to improve yourself as a person. I even said this. Like, find a hobby, find something you're like good at. Be um, active. Be progressive. Be positive. Honestly, though. But again, I'm not going to really give him that advice, but I'm talking about for the people who feel like they're going to follow his path, uh, for the young generation, because I, I, even though he's in his 20s, uh, he's already past his childhood, he's already in his adolescence, so there's no advice, there's no reason for an adult to give another adult advice how to um, attract women. Like, it's beyond me, why? So, And again, like you don't even need a six-pack to actually really get women's. It's, it, what a woman looks again is your personality and now it is a yeah fortunately i feel like in this day and age it's more about how much money you make them the income that's coming out of your wallet like damn it it is very frustrating but the thing is though it's like don't be desperate like because the moment you're desperate women are gonna 
pave a way for me. They're gonna wanna like, they're gonna wanna like separate from you. I'm, I'm being, I'm being honest. They don't want anything to do with you. They don't want to talk with you because you look like someone who just cares about them only for the body, which is a hundred percent true. So, but that's why I think it's best if you want to better yourself as a person, do what's best for you, do what you enjoy, like your hobbies. Uh, try to be more successful by um, trying to, like, again, attract the following. Let people build a community. Encourage others to follow in your footsteps, but in the in the in the right path, in the right direction, and you won't end up like him. So, but again, I don't want to make this video too long. I do feel like he needs to be um, dealt with by law enforcement and if not because this is foreshadowing that he's actually do some real harm now, it may not be towards women it may be to young girls too who are probably some high school still in high school and then because there are guys out there who are just so desperate i said this before though they go after young girls because they can't seem to attract women and so they feel like because that girl's more vulnerable it's an easy target so him roaming on the sheets is a no-no and he needs to be off where he's either um, on a deserted island or in a prison cell and then where the guys are going to handle him. But Because um, we haven't heard really any updates after his TikTok got removed. He's probably trying to keep a low profile, which EDP should be doing, in my opinion. Um, yeah, um, he's most likely trying to keep a low profile. But lately, ever since, again, ever since his TikTok got removed, I haven't had heard any any updates or any videos he's made regarding that what happened or like the previous situation of him being called out but hopefully something's done and it needs to be done soon but again ho hopefully you guys enjoy the video be sure to check for more upcoming content later in the future be sure to check the notification comment like, subscribe and enjoy your halloween